Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. I have an absolute treat for you today. We've got a huge Farsight Enclave Army led by the man himself. Now if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome. Here at Siege Studios we are a UK-based premium commission miniature painting studio with 28 painters who all paint from our bronze introductory minimum standard above tabletop level all the way up to platinum which is our competition entry quality. If you're interested in a quote from us, bit for a character, small force or army like this, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and your requirements and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us and then we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Farsight Enclave Army in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So guys, let's first dive into this army as always and looking at the characters from the army. And we've got a selection of great models, some suits and also some infantry characters. Uh, we'll leave the man, the legend, Farsight himself till the end. Uh, we'll start by going over the two Kadra Fireblades, which are really, really cool infantry commanders to lead your fire warriors. We'll just get this to focus for you guys. Uh, but really, really cool model, uh, just with that bonding knife there and rifle just leading them forward, as you can see. A lovely red armoured scheme, as you'd expect from a Farsight Enclave army with that complementary grey. Um, we've also got, obviously, all the little gold embellishments on the model as well. You have to excuse my thumb and fingers on this. We've been working on some special blue projects at the moment, so excuse that if you're wondering why that's the case. Uh, but going back to the model, really, really cool model, obviously in a great pose, black cape there, as you can see all the writing and stuff done on that little sort of uh, sort of tassel that's hanging from the knife there, which is really cool. Um, we've also got extra little details like the rope and things all painted and highlighted. And all across this force, you'll see these lovely green lenses on all of the uh, all the different models through the force. So that's just one of the Cadre Flyer Blades. Pull forward the other one, exactly the same. Really, really cool model, as you'll see, uh, with all the highlighting done through the various stages of armour and also red and black on there as well. Uh, so that's just the two character fire blades. We'll have a look quickly at these two shield drones, which obviously go with the commander suits, but you can see the little lenses there all done as well in a really clean fashion with point of light source and blending on all of those little lenses and the things all done in that complementary green, as I mentioned. Uh, we've got two of the commander suits as well. Again, Dave's done a really lovely job painting these, that exquisite sort of highlighting done across the red, gray and black areas with all the little green lenses and lights, as you'll see with a complementary gold as well. Uh, if you're wondering why there's no weapons. There are going to be lots of them. They're just all going to be magnetized by our, by our client. We've uh, we've painted all the weapons and we have them separately, uh, but it's just so he can choose exactly what loadout he wants. He's going to do all the magnetizing. So that's in case you're wondering why he is going to war with no weapons. Uh, but there's the, uh, the commander in a really, really cool pose. Um, and then we'll have a look at the other one. Again, same uh, same consistency from model to model. So they're exactly the same in sense of quality and also all the little details are all fully painted, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just the, another commander there. It's a very commanding pose, just pointing away there, as you'll see. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then up next, we have the man, the legend, Commander Farsight himself. Now, obviously, this is a fine cast model, uh, slightly smaller than the commander suits, but uh, still, I think it's quite cool for him being very stealthy and just uh, really, really quick in combat, as you'd imagine. But there you go, he's a lovely, lovely model, uh, bounding forward there with that glowing shield, as you'll see, with the glowing plasma rifle as well. Uh, loads of little green lenses and lights all done on him, all the little lenses painted in that complementary green to the red. Uh, and then moving around, you can see all the attention to detail on all those areas of armor as well. So that's just Commander Firesight, the leader of this prolific army. Uh, and you've got the Dawn Blade there as well, just in this lovely gold with a nice amount of refraction. Uh, nice tinting on the gold there as well to give it a bit of uh, shading and contrast towards the hilt as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, so that's just him. We're gonna come back in a sec and have a look at all of the vast amounts of infantry that are in this force. And believe me, there's a lot. We've got loads of fire warriors, loads of pathfinders, and loads of breaches, plus loads of drones. So stick around, they're coming up right now. So up next, let's have a look at all the infantry and drones from this vast far sight enclave army. Uh, lots and lots of infantry, 60 split into six units. Uh, three of each variant, we've got the Fire Warrior, the Breacher, and also the Pathfinder. Um, we have loads of uh, targeting drones as well, so Marker Light drones, and also a couple of extra drones left and in the back. Uh, but really, really, let's start off by having a look at the Breachers. Again, really, really cool models of Breachers with those kind of shotgun-esque uh, LAS weapons, just to get that to focus for you guys. There we go. Uh, again, Dave's done a stir job in picking out all the little individual details. Loads of green complementary lenses to the red body armor and armored areas and the black undersuit as well. 
Uh, really, really lovely attention to detail across all of the models in this force. Uh, and just, just one of the breaches here. Pull forward a few more. This guy's just crouching here, as you can see. Again, another lovely, lovely model. Uh, all those little lenses all done there, as you can see. So that's just him. Uh, and then we'll move across to the other unit, just so you can see the consistency from one unit to the other. I have to excuse my painted hands here. I've been doing some work. Uh, but as you can see, um, again, same consistency throughout here. Really, really lovely attention to detail on all of these models. All those little lenses and dials and everything all fully painted. Lovely, rich, warm gold areas of detail as well. Uh, so that's just a crouching breacher. Uh, we'll then move and have a look at the uh, Pathfinders. Now we have obviously a Pathfinder here with a rail rifle. Uh, any of you play the game Fire Warrior will remember this very vividly. Uh, again, same consistency on all the armoured areas and details, all fully edged, fully highlighted through various stages as well, which is really nice. Uh, let's have a look at another one of these Fire Warriors. So I've got the squad leader, pull him forward so I can have a look at him. Again, all the little details on him, all done, all the little lenses, everything all fully painted, again, in a really nice standard. Uh, so that's just the squad leader. Uh, and then move across to the other squad, just so you can see, it's just some of the regular Pathfinders here with the extra little lenses and things all done there. So that's just another one of the Pathfinders. Love the uh, Farsight Enclave uh, colour scheme. I'm a massive fan of red, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, but really, really lovely finish on all of these. Another rail rifle, let's have a look at him. Again, same consistency from the rest of the unit to him. And it really allows you to just split up and models around and if you want my break units down and things like that really easy have a look at one of these uh these drones as well the recon drones again dave's on the third job and picking out all the little gems and lenses and lights on this guy and uh all the little details all done to a really really crisp sharp finish as well which is really lovely so that's just one of the uh recon drones we'll have a look at the other one just so you can see the consistency from one to another but again really really lovely finish on these as well uh, so that's just the recon drone and then we'll move to the humble fire warrior um really has lasted the test of time this kit really really cool uh, model again just one of the squad leaders here again all the little lights and everything all done to a really sharp crisp fashion with those complementary green lenses which is lovely uh, and then we'll have a look at a couple of the Fire Warriors just from the other units, just so you can see those. Again, really, really sharp edging on all the armour panels as well, and on their sort of body armour that they've got, which I do really, really like. Again, last of the test of time, the Fire Warrior kit, really, really cool models. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the uh, Marker Light drones here, as you can see. Again, every little lens all painted. Again, really lovely, lovely finish on all of these to complement the rest of the army. I think the grey colour works really nicely with them as well. Uh, and just some of the other drone variants. You have to forgive me because I can't remember every name of all the drones. But if you do know this one, put it in the comments. Again, really, really cool colourway with that gold accent colour on various areas as well. And then we'll have a look at the other drone variant, which is just this one, which I can't remember either. So you have to remind me of that, guys, if you know it. But as you will see, all the little lenses on him painted as well. Uh, again, all the gold areas and lovely, lovely attention to detail on all the models in this section of the force. Uh, up next, we're going to have a look at all of the suits and the transports. They're coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So at last, let's have a look at all the suits and also the two Devilfish transports from this army. Uh, again, the suits are really, really cool. There's lots of them in the force. And just so in case you're wondering, all the weapons are going to be magnetised by our client. That's why the suits are fairly bare at the moment. Um, but again, just to show you guys off the consistency from all the units and models and uh, the lovely job that Dave has done on these as well. Uh, so just get that to focus for you guys. Again, you can see the really, really cool Farsight Enclave scheme here. Again, all those green lenses, as you'll see, uh, all the areas of armour palette fully highlighted across multiple stages and moving around to all the gold's got nice highlighting on, on it as well which is great uh, so that's just one of the suits we'll pull a few forward just so you can see them from model to model consistencies from model to model which is really cool uh, so that's just another one of the suits give it a bit of rotation for you guys so you can see all the way around uh, but again really cool far sight on close scheme I do like the deep, deep crimson that these are as well, which is really nice. Uh, not too bright, not too dark, just, just right, which I think is lovely. Uh, they've done a really, really good job in matching sort of artwork as well with the colourway. Uh, so here's just a few extra suits for you guys to have a look at. And then let's pull forward these two awesome devilfishes. Again, the transport of the uh, Tau army. Uh, I do like the black cupola on the turret as well. I think that's a really nice just addition just to make that stand out with all those little green lenses on there, as you'll see. Just get those in view so you can see those. Really nice, consistent edging done on all the armour panels all the little lights, buttons, viewports, screens, everything all painted, uh, no expense spared, which is really lovely. Uh, again, moving around, select weapons are all painted in black just to make those stand out on the models. Uh, and then around the back, you can see 
all the screens and dials and lights are all painted in that green just to really make them appear vibrant on the model with that complimentary green as well, which is cool. Uh, so that's just one of the devilfishes. Uh, the uh, t the t drones are loose as well, are separate, uh, just so they can be uh, taken off. Uh, we'll grab the second one just so you can see that again. Lovely, lovely uh, attention to detail on all of these. And uh, you can see the lights and screens are all done on them in a really cool fashion as well. So that's just the other devilfish. Uh, do hope you like them, guys. We're back in a second to have a look at the whole army again in all its glory. Uh, see you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out guys. I do hope that you've liked this Farsight Enclave Army. I know that Dave had a great time working on it. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios, be it for a character, small force or large army like this, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. I click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, simply select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and your requirements. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format as shown on the contact form fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you get to keep up to date with all the videos that we do put out. And if you do hit that bell icon, you will be notified when all the new videos do go up on the channel. Uh, also in the description of this video, you can find all the links to our social media. So Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. If you can go give us a like and follow respectively on those, then you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at Siege. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really do hope you like the video and also this awesome project. See you very soon on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.